Salary Crap. It's Tuesday, July 24th. I'm JFP Mistanza, and this is Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Now here's the news you need to know. Three men are behind bars after allegedly attempting to smuggle 12,000 meth pills, or yaba, onto the island by boat. Acting on an anonymous tip, police tailed one of the men, 36-year-old Pratuan Kanuan Khan, after he boarded a bus over 1,400 kilometers away in Nongkai, then following on off the bus when it arrived in Pangna, just north of Phuket, yesterday. Police say that the man met his alleged accomplices, 39-year-old Saitip Bunjan and 27-year-old Likit Sri Sahon, who were waiting in a pickup truck. And that's when police moved in to make the arrest, also seizing mobile phones and a black bag with the drugs inside. All three were taken to Tacha Chai police station at the northernmost tip of the Phuket, where they confessed that the plan was to take the drugs by boat to avoid police. All of them are facing drug possession charges. Officials are confirming that they indeed are still attempting to raise the Phoenix tour boat from its watery resting place in the Anaman Sea, about one and a half nautical miles off Coral Island, south of Phuket. Back on July 5, the tour boat sank in the strong storm squall, and by the end of the tragedy, 47 out of the 89 people aboard the boat died in the disaster, with all those killed and injured having been Chinese nationals. At the moment, the boat is at a depth of 45 meters in the sea, although Phuket Marine officials are still waiting until the equipment that would help them retrieve the vessel arrives within 10 to 15 days, as the plan is not to cause more damage to the boat. More updates now on the subsequent investigation, as police are confirming that the registered owner of the Phoenix, Waterlock Ruk Chai Kun, and the captain of the boat, Somjing Bun Tam, they are in Phuket Provincial Prison being held on remand as both face charges of negligence causing death. Despite this, the construction engineer for the Phoenix, On Chan Kan Ho Yot, has been released on bail along with the captain of the Serenata Torbo, which also sank on the same day, although all 41 people on board that boat were rescued. But the alleged manager for Lazy Cat Travel, which operates tours on the Serenata, Chinese national Peng Dai Ching, he remains incarcerated in the detention cells at Phuket Immigration. The Serenata boat, meanwhile, has been recovered and is now being shelved at Phuket Boat Lagoon pending further investigation. A ceremony beamed around the world. The 11 boys who were trapped in a Chiang Rai cave for 17 harrowing days are being ordained as Buddhist novices today. The world watched earlier this month as the 12 boys and their coach of the wild boar football team were rescued in a daring operation out of a four and a half kilometer cavernous complex at Tamluang Cave where they'd been for 17 days. Now after surviving the ordeal and all of them having been discharged from the hospital, 11 boys from the squad are set to live as monks for nine days starting tomorrow, Wednesday while their coach will do the same at another monastery. It's all part of Thai tradition when Thai men are ordained as monks once they come of age. Meanwhile, in Canberra, nine Australians who were involved in the rescue of the wild boars team, they're all being awarded bravery medals for putting their lives in danger during the harrowing ordeal, including six police officers, a Navy diver, and two doctors. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Sit tight, Phuket, I shall be right back after this. Tong's favorite steakhouse for the past 20 years. For more, find Sam's Steaks and Grill on Facebook. When you think of steaks, think Sam's. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The penis of a man in Rajaburi province is still missing after another man cut it off in order to protect his wife over the weekend. Let's start at the beginning. As 50-year-old Premsak Perprasit told police that he hired 39-year-old Suwit Tip Janta to help him paint buses at an assembly plant in the province, and he took him into his own home as well. On Saturday night, after a month of working together, the two men, along with a third man, had a drinking session at Percep's home, and when they had gone out to make purchases, Suwit walked into his boss wife's room and allegedly touched her, and she ran out of the house just as her husband came back to the house. Reports say Permsak beat up Suwit with his mechanics tools and allegedly used a fruit knife to cut off the man's penis and threw it into the bushes nearby 
At last report, police are still looking for the dismembered organ, but have not had any luck yet. And 10,000 volunteers, that's how many people joined the first day of a two-day charity event to honor the upcoming 66th birthday of His Majesty the King, Mahavajira Longkorn Bodindra de Bayavarankul. It all started at the 4,000-seat indoor stadium at Sapanhin in Phuket Town earlier today, with Phuket Governor Norapa Plotong kicking things off, and then at 1.30 p.m., registered volunteers took shuttle buses that took them to local canals and other designated areas, all for cleanup efforts. Registration is still open for anyone who would like to volunteer, with potential participants encouraged to sign up at the indoor stadium at Sapanhin starting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Just present your government ID card and volunteers are encouraged to dress appropriately and wear yellow. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. It's time to do something about your body. Get on track by learning your hidden numbers with Fit3D Thailand the most advanced body composition and posture analysis based on your own 3D avatar. It takes only 40 seconds, and within minutes you'll have a detailed report that includes everything from your fat mass, lean mass, body measurements, posture analysis, balance, and much more. Track your progress with the most accurate pro scanner available. Visit or contact us today.